one. <laughs> That's the voice of Jessica DiCicco in the new film, The Super Mario Brothers Movie. And just this past week, it smashed all box office records, the biggest global debut in history for an animated film. Wow. Congratulations. Jessica's joining us live in studio. And, uh, you know, of course, you've been in the industry. And you have, I, have to, I have to admit, when I heard you were coming, I was trying to find video of you so I could know what your real voice was. Oh. Because you, you have so many voices that are in the movies and video games and shows. So... Yeah, yeah, well, this is my real voice, so no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so no. in this movie, you, you're not just playing one character, you're playing multiple characters. Yeah, so I play Mario and Luigi's mom, mm -hmm. um, one of the cousins in the family scene, which I think is so hilarious, because like, we've known Mario and Luigi for so long, and yes. now we get to see their family. Yes. And, like, yes. I love the backstory, you know? Yeah. It's so fun. Um, and then just in, in the trailer, I play the yellow toadstool. Okay. And, um, and some other characters. I'm the voice of, of the lady in the commercial, that like amazing Super Mario plumbing commercial. Yes, it's yes, yes. So good. Um, yeah, and some others here and there. So. Well, I, you know, I was thinking when you were doing all these voices, are you in a little studio by yourself and you're just reading from line to line, or how do you how do you really do it? Yeah. So this one we recorded um, individually because we recorded during you know mm -hmm. pandemic um, a, a couple years ago. And um, yeah, it was just one at a time in the studio here in LA. Mm -hmm. And it was just great because we got to work. And I think the, the directors were in France at the time. Oh, wow. So we did everything, you know, remotely. And yeah, it was but just- But are you looking at video? Is there something that kind of no. gives you an idea of what- how no, your voice should be. that's a good point because they're like, okay, now you're playing like mushroom characters, and I'm just like, I have no idea. I, I, th I think they may have shown like one picture, but it, it, seeing the movie brings it to life in such a way. I'm like, oh, that's what was happening. It's yes. just so amazing to like see this incredible film all come together, and and wow, and like what, like. It's just doing so incredibly well. I'm like so proud. Yeah, I just, it seems like it would be tricky to play multiple voices in this movie and you're looking maybe at a picture saying, okay, this is what this character would sound like. Yeah, so, you know, they, they explain to you what they want. Like the directors mm -hmm. will say, okay, you know, these guys are like little, and so then I'll like, you know, pinch my voice a little bit. Can I do this? <laughs> you know, and then, or okay, then a little one, another one sounds a little bit different like this. So you have to like do some variation within that like, you know, small character world. <laughs> How did you really get into this? Um, well, I've been acting professionally since I was a kid, which mm -hmm. happened kind of by accident. I got picked from my school to be in a show. Okay. And I loved doing it so much that I asked my mom if I could do it. And then I just did it extracurricularly. And then, um, yeah, and then when I moved to LA after college, I just ended up doing animation full time, which wow. was pretty much my dream. So, yeah, it is my amazing. Dream. All and, the things yeah. that you get to do in the video game, I mean, like all these different characters. Yeah, such, like, that's. The amazing thing about being a voice actress, you get to play a little mushroom and, mm -hmm. you know, all these, like, you know, a cactus and all these different characters. So it's just, it's like, it's just the best job. It's so much fun. And your own kids can actually watch a lot of the work that you yes. do. Do they, do they get it yet? That that's mom's voice? So they're just starting to get it. Mm -hmm. I have a five-year-old son and a two and a half year old daughter and I'm on, you know, Muppet Babies mm -hmm. and um, Puppy Dog Pals and Loud House and Give a Mouse a Cookie, just like a, bu and like a bunch of, you know, preschool shows. Oh, and, and my new show that just came out is um, Eva the Owlette. Yeah. And it's on Apple TV. Okay. And so it's based on a book that like my kids love reading. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, you know, give a mouse a cookie. So yeah, they love, my son just started noticing my voice. He's like, mom. I'll be like, <laughs> it's like, I'm like 10 rooms away. And he's like, mom, I hear you. <laughs> well, when you read books at night, do you do all the different voices you know, for the characters? I try <laughs> and my son, He's like, can you just, please don't do that. Oh. He's like, can you please just, just read it normal. I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they want mom reading the books, not yeah, the characters. Yeah, I guess so. Well, yeah. it's a lot of fun and you're doing a great job. And <laughs> I'm always you. looking now to hear, is that Jessica? <laughs> you should do some voiceovers. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I do it every day almost. Yeah, totally. <laughs> thank you so much for joining yeah, us. We certainly appreciate it. Me. And of course, you can find more information about Jessica Chico and the Super Mario Brothers movie by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.